Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Beyond Second Cognition. I'm Endel Beal. The topic of this discussion is let's settle this Nephilim issue once and for all. All this stuff goes back to Genesis chapter 6, verse 4, where it says, The Nephilim were in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bore children to them, and the same were the mighty men that were of old, the men of renown. There has been so much bullshit speculation over this verse for the last 2,000 years, it's ridiculous. So it's time that we put this whole goddamn thing to rest. The giants that were living in the earth in those days were some of the off-world races. The Orioners themselves were like 12 feet tall. Some of the other races ran between 7 to 9 feet tall. Humans were not very tall. So yes, there were giants in those days. When it talks about the sons of God coming into the daughters of men and breeding with them, it is an allegorical reference to the other alien races that came to this planet and worked with the genetic stock created in a laboratory by the Orioners, what we call the human template. When those races arrived here to work on this planet, the Orioner says, here, look, you have this new human livestock. You can do whatever you want with it, but you have to use our genetic template for whatever you do with it. If you want to know what the aliens look like, look at the different races on this planet. Because each of the races is representational of the races that live out there in the stars. Different races, different places. But the fact of the matter is, that all these varied human races are only one human race. They came from one genetic template created by the Orioners and all the other off-worlders who came here, who bred with the daughters of men, inserted their genetics into that human template, created the varied races on this planet, or what looks like different races, but we're all one race. Here's the real shocker, folks. There is one human race on this planet. There's not a variety of races. One skin color, the slant of their eyes, the texture of anything about them is nothing but clothing wrapped around a single human template. We all come from the same genetic template and the only thing that makes us different is the different off-worlders who either manipulated their genetics into that human template form or who did breed with us. The sons of God has no mystical meaning. It has nothing to do with the angels because the angels were never on this planet. It has to do with off-world races referred to in an allegorical manner under the tyrannical overlordship of the Orioners. And the Orioners were the giants in the world and the sons of God were the other races. There were other races that were very tall as well as the Orioners. The Anunnaki ranged anywhere from seven to nine feet tall. They were not little bitty creatures either. But all this Nephilim shit, all this crap that's all over the goddamn internet, it has a logical basis. And it seems that science and religionists and mystical people can't figure this shit out. There is a very sound, logical, reasonable explanation for all of this Nephilim boojum. And I just gave it to you. Now, this is going to challenge some people's supernatural belief systems because they're looking for demons and they're looking for Satan. They're looking for any damn excuse they can to justify their supernatural belief with this one verse out of the Bible. I just provided a logical, sound, realistic, and truthful explanation for what this Nephilim shit means and what the sons of God in the allegory represents. They weren't literal sons of God. They were different races from different places, and they left their genetic stamp on the human template provided by the Orioners, which created the different appearing races on this planet. But when it comes down to it, folks, we are one planetary race. It doesn't matter the skin color, the hair color, the eye color, anything else. All that is is outer dressing over the same template. We are one human race. 
And the sooner we can realize that, the sooner we can quit squabbling over which race is the oldest, which race is the smartest, which race is the most supreme, and get on to being human beings. And it all wraps around this Nephilim, sons of God bullshit, Nephilim, whatever you want to call them. But I'm tired of seeing all this crap on the internet. I'm tired of all these Bible pulpit pounders, demon spouters, fear mongering sons of bitches doing all this shit and nobody having a clue and nobody taking an ounce of genuine logic and common sense to apply to this verse to interpret it for what it actually says and what it actually means. Pull the blinders off, lay down the supernatural bullshit and step into reality, folks. It's not that hard to do. If our genetic scientists are doing what they are, and they're already mixing animal and human genetics together, you don't think these more advanced races from out there in the stars have the same capability? We're following in the footsteps of the so-called gods. Wake up, people. There's a rational explanation for all of it. It ain't got nothing to do with supernaturalism. It ain't got nothing to do with mysticism. It ain't got nothing to do with Satan and the demons and the goblins coming out to get you. He's got a logical sound basis and a logical sound explanation. So all you people that are spooked about this Nephilim stuff, pull the blinders off, get your heads out of your asses, and wake up to reality and take a reality pill. And if this makes you uncomfortable because it challenges your supernatural belief, maybe you shouldn't challenge me. Maybe you should challenge the belief for being the hokey bullshit that it is. But I'm just tired of watching all this Nephilim crap out there and people pushing forward fear. Because that's all it is, is fear mongering. It's religious fear porn. Outgrow it. Become human. Outgrow all of the propaganda that arises from this shit. See it for what it is. Interpret the allegory in a literal sense and all of a sudden the mystery disappears, folks. That's what logic and reason and accepting the truth does for you. So for all of you doing the work, stay the course and don't give up on yourselves.